What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this episode we're moving on to the kitchen area of our 2005 Arctic Fox 1150 truck camper renovations. In the last episode you guys saw us finish up the bathroom. We were really excited at how that turned out. But today we're going to be pulling the oven out. We're actually going to be reinstalling it but we're going to be replacing the countertops with some butcher block. We're also going to be replacing the sink, the faucet, and we're going to be doing some backsplash. While we're under here, we're gonna be upgrading the electronics. We've already gone ahead and replaced this converter unit with one that's compatible with lithium. We're also gonna be installing this DC to DC charger. It can charge off the alternator on the truck as well as hooking solar to this. We did have a charge controller from the factory that was here. It is unhooked right now, but you can see it here. We're gonna be going ahead and getting that unhooked for now there's just a small solar panel on the roof we will put a separate charge controller here and some solar panels on the roof but for now we're going to use our portable panel and we have that plug on the side of the camper i installed that i'll show you guys later so we kind of already have this all unscrewed and disconnected propane line disconnected so let's get this torn out for the oven there's just this one propane line and then there was four screws on the front and then four screws inside here take all those out slid right out and fit out the door on the counters there's a bunch of screws screwing it into the wall all the way around and then we're not going to remove the sink we're going to just pull it out with the counter so make sure you got your plumbing disconnected and all this yep is loose should be able to pull this counter out all right guys as our projects tend to get out of hand this one is no different we're getting ready for truck camper rally in a couple weeks in courtside and we decided we're just gonna rip the rest of this out and get the rest of it painted and try to get this thing ready for truck camper rally. Tiffany's been painting all of the white on this side. I actually got the DC to DC in. We got the kitchen counters here all cut out and sanded and prepped. They got a couple coats of stain and a couple coats of polyurethane and then the kitchen table here as well this is the same stain color we did in the shower we're also going to be doing some of the trim boards around the slide out and on the dinette seats to match all right check this out guys we've got the camper almost back together all the painting is pretty much done you can see we did kind of white up high did some gray down low with some scuff resistant paint. Gray is all down low, gray is here. We got white. These were wood panels. I ended up getting some black paint just to make the fridge look all black to match the rest of the appliances. We've got all of our solar stuff in, got our shunt. We got our battery monitor right here. We have another monitor, Bluetooth monitor for our DC to DC and all that stuff. Just need to tie up some of these wires and we're just about ready to put this countertop back in. Well, we got this portion of the kitchen pretty much wrapped up. We got the oven reinstalled. We got this pretty cool modular sink. There's this drying rack. There's this cutting board. There's a screen that goes down there that's removable. This could be right here. Pretty cool. So we'll probably end up sanding this down and staining it the same color as the counters to match. This faucet head comes off and comes back in. Really nice black stainless steel, looks really good. The next thing I'm gonna do is we got some of this peel and stick wall tile. We're gonna put that on the walls here where it's not painted as a backsplash. So let's put some of this on. All right, you can see this part of the kitchen area is finished. I think the backsplash turned out perfect. We love the dark stain on the countertops and we're really happy we went with a darker on the bottom and then the light on the top. Our last camper had a lot of white in it and uh, we loved how it turned out, but we are really happy with how this is all coming together. Tiffany went ahead and ordered these black blackout shades. I think they look really awesome. We got them for all the windows except for a couple of them. Some of them where they wouldn't fit really well, we went ahead and did these drop down ones. They were a lot cheaper and they get the job done. And then if we come over to the dinette and the rest of the kitchen area, we are very happy with how this turned out. We went ahead and stained some of these boards uh, to match the countertops and the shower. We had all this fabric left over from the last camper, so we're trying to do kind of a budget build on this, so we went ahead and reused that. Tiffany stitched these up. We think they look really good in here. I thought this was really cool. Tiffany took the Arctic Fox little logo here and sanded it down, painted it, 
and we stained it and got it installed here and it's just a little touch from the original design. These shiplap ceilings is one thing that most people that come into the camper compliment. They say it just makes the camper feel so much more homey and I would tend to agree. It's one of my favorite upgrades we've done to this camper. We did it in the dinette area and if you watched our previous video, we also did it in the shower. One of the last things we wanna do is go ahead and redo all these floors. We're gonna pull the carpet out. We don't exactly know what we're gonna do yet up here, but we definitely will be redoing this and the floor in the bathroom as well. But that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Thanks so much for being here and following along. We really appreciate it. Drop your thoughts and comments down below. We'll see you on the next video. Later.